Hey guys, this is Kasi, and today I'm going to show you guys how to work with the dynamics inside of Drowsy. Um, Drowsy is a plugin for Cinema 4D. Um, it's pretty much breaking stuff into pieces. Um, and today I'm going to show you guys how I work with it to achieve a pretty uh, realistic breaking effect. Um, Strauss is by the way free, so I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. Um, probably a lot of you guys already have it, but yeah. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do today. Um, here's a quick little simulation here I did. Um, let's just play it back. Oh snap, it's laggy. Oh, well. So it's a little cube here that goes into the thingy and breaks it. Oh wow, my computer is slow right now. Uh, but I think you guys get it anyways, um, one more time, triangle goes into the block and breaks it, and the pieces fall to the ground and, you know, bounce a little, but still not float away, um, and I'll show you guys how to do that, um, so first of all, I'm gonna remove everything except my light here, so I'm gonna remove those three, uh, all we got now is light over here, and... First of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a plane by going to this and plane and just drag that out. Doesn't matter how big this is, to be honest. Um, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the block or whatever that I want to break. This will work with text or models or whatever, so it's really useful for cool animations in cinematics and stuff, so really recommend this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drag it out, drag it up a little bit. Maybe not that big actually. Um, I'm gonna drag it like this. I'm gonna turn it sideways, like nice little angle like that. I'm gonna drag it up a little bit. Um, like this, maybe. Make it a tiny bit thinner. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is apply. Um, yeah, I'm gonna apply the plugin right now. So I'm gonna go to plugins, Thrasy, and Thrasy there. And for this block, I'm actually gonna break it into 200 pieces. Do nothing yet, don't click break now. What you're gonna do now is go to dynamics, um, set the mode to on collision. And now you get to go to break it. So I'm gonna click break now. And it's gonna start breaking into pieces. They can take this can take a little bit of time, I guess. You can see the meter down here. Um, and oh, by the way, uh, the reason that I'm not doing tutorials on my PC yet is because I haven't managed to figure out how to record the screen properly yet. So for now, it's on Mac only. But I'm eventually gonna switch over to PC too and gonna show some cool stuff on there because I obviously obviously have a better machine there. But yeah, and it looks like it's pretty much done. Or Maybe not. It's smoothing out the edges right now, I think. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah, while this working, you can leave a comment in this comment section um, about any other tutorials you want to see in the future. Uh, just a little thingy. And it's done. Yeah, leave a comment what tutorials you want to see. Um, yeah, continue. Let's continue with this. Um, Oh snap, my computer is slow right now. God damn it. Alright, what we can do now at least is click down this drowsy window, this floater, and like that. And we have our braked object right there. What we do now is we are going to. What are we gonna do? We're gonna drag this up a little bit, I think like that. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Let's move this shit over here. Um, excuse me. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a any object we want. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna choose a square actually because it's a little bit 
easier. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna line it up right like this, maybe make it a bit tinier, drag it over here, set a keyframe, alright, so down here, put the keyframe on frame 0, drag this over to frame 90, drag this one over through the block right here, through the block, okay, over here, and set a keyframe over there at 90 frames. As you can see now, nothing happens, you know, just flows through this brick wall, nothing happens at all. So what we don't need now is apply a tag to the square, uh, sphere, whatever. Um, I'm gonna right click on, on the square, of sphere. God damn, that word is so uh, <laughs> messed up to say. Oh, right. uh, we're gonna apply a tag here, dynamics body tag, or dynamics tag, dynamics body. The tag is located right there, as you can see. And I'm gonna go down and edit this a little bit. I'm gonna go to dynamics. I'm gonna go to the trigger. I'm gonna set that to at velocity peak. All right. So right now, I'm. It's a pretty good start. This I'm gonna show you guys what I'm done so far. Bam. All right. But as you can see right now. Um, it doesn't really look that realistic and the pieces go through the plane so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply another uh, dynamics tag to the plane and we're gonna go to dynamics on that one too and set the trigger mode to uh, what was it at velocity peak right um, and that pretty much makes it a solid plane so nothing can go through it in animations and that's what we want we can also turn up the friction a little bit so the pieces don't slide too much. I'm gonna set it at 105% here. Um, then you can go over to the uh, cube, the frosted object here. I'm gonna go to that dynamics tag, go to the collision mode or collision flare or whatever. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna set the um, I'm gonna set the bounce to like ten percent. I'm gonna show you why later. And friction, I'm gonna drag it up to like oh, drag it up to like forty. Collision noise to one point nine, one one percent maybe. Um, yeah, what we get now is this animation. And that doesn't look as good as the one I had before, but I mean, it still looks better, I think. So, oh, uh, yeah, I would like it to it like flew a few pieces backwards in C Z axis, but I don't know. You get the idea, pretty much. And the last thing we're gonna do is go to the sphere and add right click. And add an what is it? Yeah, Cinema 4D tags and compositing tag. And we're gonna hide this object from the camera by unchecking scene by camera here on tags. And we have created the scene I had before, where this object pretty much breaks this wall or text or anything really you want. And it looks pretty sweet, I think. So, yeah, hopefully you learned something from this and thought it was cool. Uh, more tutorials coming soon, hopefully. So make sure to leave those comments on what you want to see. And this has been Kazi. Bye.